Hi everybody, so I'm doing my Holy Grail products, but before I get started, as you can see in the title, I am doing a giveaway. I want to say thank you to everybody that has been subscribed to me. There's a good chunk of you that I talk to on the daily um, that we've just connected through YouTube for years. I really appreciate it. I've just reached 600 subscribers, which is so exciting for me because this is just a hobby. I don't want to make money off of this. I don't want any of that. I just love makeup and I love sharing my passion for makeup with everybody. So, that being said, I do not have the palette here. It's on my on the way I ordered it, but I am giving away the Kat Von D My Vita Loco palette. Loca. <laughs> I absolutely love this palette. I bought it last week and I am obsessed. I have been using it every single day and I just think that it is something that everybody needs you can create, you, I mean like honestly this is the only palette you need even though we all know that we're not only going to have one palette through the rest of our lives but if I did choose one palette I honestly think that this would be it. It has neutrals, it has colors, there's so many different options and I absolutely love it and I think it's worth the $60 so that is going to be the prize. The rules is the first thing you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel and you must follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will be linked down below. Also um what else? I had like this all written down. I forgot. Also, you must leave a comment down below saying what your top two Holy Grail items are. And I believe that's it. Please be 18 years or older. Also, in the comments down below, please let me know what your Instagram name is. So, because sometimes like your Instagram and YouTube are different. So, in the comments below, your top two favorite Holy Grail items and your Instagram name. So I can find you, so if you do win, I can make sure that you are subscribed to me on Instagram and YouTube. So that being said, I am going to go ahead and get started. The first thing um, that I just love, I consider a Holy Grail item an item that you use all the time, constantly, you're repurchasing it and all that, but there's some things that like you just have for so long that like it's a it's a big product and you can't repurchase it, but you use it so much. So the first thing is my beauty blender. This is probably my third or fourth one and I absolutely love it. I know it's $20 and I really like the Real Techniques one as well, but I just really, really like this. I use it every single day. Um, I find that when I use a foundation brush, my foundation just doesn't look as good. I just think that this is the best option to apply in your foundation, at least for me. Um, my Holy Grail Mascara, if you've been watching my YouTube forever, you would know. My Aqua Smoky Lash um, Mascara for Makeup Forever. I love this stuff. I It just gives you such length, and it thickens your lashes, and it's it's beautiful, and it's the blackest black, and it, lasts really, it does dry out pretty quickly, but I find that I like the drier formula. Um, it's kind of a dry mascara anywhere, but without being flaky. I love this stuff, and I've been using it for years. I can't even tell you how many tubes of this I have repurchased. And there for a while, I was on, like, a journey to find, like, a equivalent drugstore mascara. And I've tried about, like, seven or eight, and nothing just compares to this mascara. I still go back to this. It is still worth the $22 or $26, and I'm just to the point where, you know what, I've tried other mascaras, and this is just the best product out there for me. Um, the next thing is the... Clarisonic. You know, Clarisonics are very expensive and I don't expect everybody to be able to afford them, but if you can, I just think that you need this product. It completely changes your skin. You don't realize how better your skin can be before you use this. It just gets everything out of your, your pores and it makes your face just look amazing. You don't realize your makeup only looks good as the canvas that it has to be put on. And I have a lot of texture on my skin and all that and I didn't realize how it, not awful, but how different my foundation looked before I started using this, and I absolutely love it, and I think, you know, it's worth it. This is the $99 one, and I think, like, save up for it. It's completely worth it. I love it. Um, the next product is my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. I have had this for a really long time, and I use it... I don't do my eyebrows every day because... Um, this is such a weird fact about me, but I never know when is the exact time to go get my eyebrows done. So, like, right now my nails, don't, my eyebrows don't look awful, but they definitely need done, and I can't fill them in because they need done. So, I don't use it every day, but I've had this, and this is what I use to fill in my eyebrows. I do have other products, but this is what I always go back to. Next is this Essie Gel Setter Top Coat. I love this stuff. Joe bought me this in a kit once, and it is just amazing, and this is going to be the only top coat that I, coat that I use. It makes your skin your skin. <laughs> it makes your nails so shiny. It makes them, um, like your nail polish lasts so long and instead of chipping it like recedes like a general nail polish. And I love getting my nails done, but this makes me feel like I don't need to get my nails done because it prevents it from chipping. The next thing is my MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot. This is, I think, my second or third tube, and which doesn't seem a lot, but I've had this 
probably for about a year or so and I use it every single day I wear makeup I don't use any other primer and you can see I have so much left so it's $14 but it's completely worth it because it lasts you forever and a day the next is my physician's formula 2 in 1 lash boosting eye serum and eyeliner this is my favorite liquid liner I absolutely love it it is $9 and I was trying to find like better liquid eyeliners but again the same with my mascara I just really like this, and this is what I'm going to continue to use. Um, I did try other liquid liners, and I liked them, but then I just, I don't know. I just like this better. I don't feel like it does make my eyelashes longer, but I really love it. And this is, I probably have had ten tubes of this. I love it. You guys know I talk about it all the time. The next, this is my third tube of this, but it's the NYX HD Concealer. I love, love, love this stuff. This is like the yellow, for, or the brightening formula, I think. Or the, like the yellow. But I really like this. I like the yellow. I like the plain like regular concealer. And I like the brightening. They're just such good quality concealers. And have um, really high coverage. And they don't crease. And they look really good on my skin. The next is this Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder. Which I've had. Like I've had this forever. You can see the brightening's wearing off. And I. This is probably my fifth or sixth um, powder. And I, have, I just love it. I think it doesn't cake. It really helps just set my makeup. There is no coverage, but I just like, I just want a little bit on my face to help set my face. I never go a day without putting powder over my face. I really like setting that. Um, my favorite Holy Grail foundation. This is, I think, my third or fourth bottle. I have two of them because I have the darkest shade and the lightest shade. But I already used one or two of them up, so this is my third or fourth third and four bottle. I It's the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Foundation from L'Oreal. My dark shade is N4 Neutral and my light shade is N12 Neutral. Oh no, soft. this is the Soft Ivory Classic Ivory and this is the Buff Beige. So yeah, I really like these. My skin is was oily and somehow, I don't know if it's the weather change or this is just what my skin's going to be like. My skin is out of control dry and I don't know what to do about it. If you guys have any tips, please let me know. But it is so dry, I cannot take it. I feel like I'm going to have to completely change my skincare routine around because it's just not working. And I'm trying to find things, you know. And I'm kind of getting it set up, but any tips you guys have. But this, whether my skin is oily or dry, it's, it works. It worked for my oily skin, and now that I have dry skin, I'm like freaking out. Because I'm like, oh my god, I don't have a foundation. But I tried this, and it really works. It makes my skin look luminous and great, and I love it. Next is coconut oil. This... I think everybody needs coconut oil. This big tube was like 12 bucks, but you can use this for everything. I use coconut oil to cook with, which, I mean, I have a separate bottle for that. I feed coconut oil to my puppy dog, Scooby, because he has insanely dry skin, and I put a tablespoon, or a teaspoon, or a tablespoon, I forget, of, in his food twice a day, and it's been making his skin so replenished. Like, he, you guys don't understand the amount of dandruff that he had. It was awful, and it makes his skin, his coat really soft. I use this in my hair if I'm out of conditioner, which you need to be careful with. I use this on my face as a moisturizer every single night. I put it on my eyelashes to help make them grow longer and thicker, which I just started, so I don't know if that really helps. I use it on my nails um, for cuticles. I put it on my lips because my lips are so dry. This, and as a mask, this is my number one holy girl item. If you have any beauty product, you need this because you can use it for everything I mean everything I love it um, I do apply this at nighttime as my moisturizer because it does get a little bit greasy and it needs time to soak in the one thing I don't notice this with me some people do say that it does clog your pores but to me I don't it doesn't it doesn't clog my pores and I don't really have problems with acne and you may think like oh my gosh I have oily skin I don't want to use oil on my skin but this does not make your skin oily it's a really light wet or light wet light weight but extremely moisturizing product and it's all natural and it's amazing and it does not make you greasy it tr genuinely works I love it I I carry a bottle with me wherever I go it's in my purse I have a big container in my kitchen I have a big container in my cabinet I have a little container that I um, it's an old lotion container that I leave on my desk and I have and I apply this at night as an eye cream as a lip cream as a facial cream I use it for everything and I think it's completely worth trying and I love it and again it's 12 bucks but I've had this container for I can't even tell you how long and I'm not even close to running out I'm like to here so on top of that this has my coconut oil in it now but the product that was in it before is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream I love this lotion there's a green kind and a pink kind I've used both of them and I love them and I probably 
I don't know, I think I've had like 8 to 10 um, bottles. I really like it. And it's just, the, it's a very refreshing gel. It's very, it's cooling and it's moisturizing and I love it. It's perfect whether you have oily skin, dry skin, normal skin, it really, really works. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this has my coconut oil in it now. And I love it. I've, the cool thing about coconut oil is like you can like melt it really easily. So I melted it and then like filled this up. But yeah, it's awesome. Next is... My Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. Um, you guys know I use this palette all the t all the time. Um, whether it's to use an eyeshadow, sometimes to fill in my brow, or to create an eye look, or whatever. This is just my go-to eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love it. You can see I've hit pan on two of these shadows. I'm really close to hitting pan on this one too. This is just my go-to. If I'm going anywhere, this is just what I'm going to take. I love it. I think you can create so many natural looks with it. Um, and it, it just goes with everything. If you just need some neutrals and you're using a colorful look, you can use this. This taupe color, the Naked 2, is my absolute favorite. And I really love this faint color. It looks so good in the crease. And they're just, they're, this is such a good palette. I think everybody needs this. It's such a basic palette. And even if you're a beginner, this is a good, good product. Next, um, this, I mean, I haven't repurchased it just because I haven't had to, but... Uh, my Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. I use this every single day without fail. There's been maybe one or two days that I've, you know, not used it. But this is just the best product ever. Jaclyn Hill went above and beyond. And first of all, Jaclyn Hill is like our girl on YouTube. And anything she does or creates, I support. And this is just such a great quality product. And I think everybody needs it. I know it's a little bit pricey, but it's amazing. It's so finely milled and soft and gorgeous. And I have it on today. You can make it natural. You can build it up and look like you are like glowing water from within. It is just a fantastic product. And I think everybody needs to own this because it's amazing. Next, baby oil. Okay, I've literally had this container for probably a year. I'm not kidding. And I use it every day that I wear makeup to remove my makeup. And I've only used this much. And it was like $2. I use baby oil to remove my eye makeup remover. It is such a great product. Um, you just put a little bit on a cotton pad, hold it over your eye, and swipe it. And it gets everything off. And then I just always use the other side of the cotton pad and wipe off the extra because some people might not like the grease, but the grease doesn't really bother me because it's very easy to wipe off and then I wash my face after anyways. So it doesn't really affect me and I haven't noticed any breakouts. Um, it's really gentle on your eyes and I've just, I've said this before, but I've never found a makeup remover towelette that removes all of my makeup and that's just such a good item for that big of a bottle and it's lasted me for so long and it's it just it's a good product i love it and i think it's affordable so why not try it it's really really good next i have one hair product this is my suave professionals dry shampoo i've gone through like four or five bottles of these and i have two more um to use up i really utilize dry shampoo i have pretty thick hair and i do not wash my hair um once every two to three days i just don't need to and you know, dry shampoo is my friend because I do get a little bit of grease um, up at my roots because I, I do tend to touch my hair a lot. This is a really good product. It smells really good and the smell's not overpowering and the smell doesn't stay with you all day, which I really like. Um, it soaks up my oil and it's good. I, I think <laughs> dry shampoo is dry shampoo, but I really like this stuff and I've gone through so much and this bottle's like 2 or $3. I love it. Next, um, my one lip product. This is the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. These are like the mini bottles. I just got the holiday set. And then, like, all my other bottles are, like, in my purse and stuff because I use them so much. I love these lipstick, liquid, I don't know, whatever they are. I love them. They are beautiful to pair with anything, any liner, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. They're gorgeous. They are so long-lasting. The color payoff is incredible. They're not drying. They're just awesome. I love them. And, yeah, so that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look excited to talk to all of you and hear what your Holy Grail products are. Please don't forget to subscribe so you guys can hopefully win that palette. If I had, if I could get a, a gift for everybody, I so would because I definitely appreciate all of your guys' support. And I will see you guys next video. Um... Also, I don't know when the contest is going to end. I'm going to post that on Instagram. So you, you can follow me on Instagram and then I'll post it up um, in a few days or like in a few hours whenever I decide when is best. So yeah, I will talk to you guys next video. Have a great day. Bye.